everybody. I've had some people ask me to teach them how to crochet. So this is video one. I have never done this before. So wish me luck. Uh, welcome to fir your first lesson. So today you're going to learn um, what hooks to buy, or at least which ones I use. I'll put the link in the comments. You will learn um, how to hold your yarn and how to hold your hook and know what size hook to use with what size yarn because yes, that will make a difference. Um, you'll learn how to make a slip knot if you already don't know how. Um, and just so you know, this video, I'm right-handed. So if you're left-handed, it's going to be a little bit of an extra challenge. You'll have to do things backwards. So you can do it. Uh, just, just be patient. Um, so after we go over the basics of the yarn and the hook and how to hold everything, you'll learn how to do a chain, which is the very basic foundation for crocheting. You'll need it for every project or nearly every project. Um, so we'll go over the basics. I definitely recommend pausing the video when you feel you need to practice more or um, rewinding and um, going back to anything you may have missed or need clarity on. Be sure to put any questions you have in the comment section and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these are some basic hooks that you might choose to get from wherever um, you buy craft supplies. Um, and there's all different colors and they represent different sizes um, based on what brand you get. Um, most of these ones will have the size of the hook um, somewhere on the side kind of engraved. So um, that's an option and I used these hooks for a long time but <laughs> something funny that I noticed um, when I was doing longer projects it would start to kind of um, get the inside of my hand sore from holding it like this. It would kind of rub on my hand so I got some other ones which I'm going to show you. Um, and they came in this nice little carrying case. I bought these on Amazon. These are the ones that are in the link. Um, they're super cute, super easy to hold and comfortable. So they come with this case and then inside you have all different size hooks. Um, and on these ones, this is a big one, um, it has the size right here. Um, so you have all these different sizes all the different colors which makes it really easy to find um, so you put your project away later you can go back and say I know I was using the yellow hook and easily find it so you know your size again it's just on the side and this is kind of like a silicone or rubber to hold on to so much more comfortable to hold in your hand so you have all your hooks and then you also it comes with little mini scissors which are really handy um, so you have your scissors um, you could easily take this little pack in the car and, um, you know, work on your project during a road trip. Um, so you have your scissors and then you also have these, um, needles. They're not sharp, um, cause, so they're just like really thick. You can see that needle has a really big, um, eye in the needle so that you can fit yarn through there. Um, and this comes in handy like at the end of your project or any time where you kind of need to hide the ends of your yarn, which you'll learn in a future video. Um, so it comes with a bunch of different sizes of these. And then the last item here is, these are like markers. Um, they're kind of like plastic safety pins. Um, so these markers are if you're making a hat and you need to know where you started if you're working in a circle they come in handy um in a, bun a bunch of different ways so it comes with those two and this whole pack i mean i think there's i don't know something like 14 hooks or something like different sizes i can't remember off the top of my head um how many hooks it comes with but this whole pack for all the hooks the scissors the needles the markers and the case was only like 13 dollars which is a crazy deal, um, whereas like these little plastic hooks are maybe, I don't know, $5 for like three of them, um, depending on where you go. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend these, um, if, especially if it's um, something that you want good variety that you feel like you'll spend um, kind of a long time. I feel like they'll last. So those are the hooks. Um, and then after you have your your hooks obviously you'll need some yarn so this yarn in particular um, on the back of each yarn um, when you buy it 
there's a picture of a uh, knitting needles and then a crochet hook in somewhere around that little instruction around the back it'll tell you what size crochet hook goes with this size yarn so in this case it's four millimeter crochet hook goes with this size yarn okay so um, that's how to know what size hook goes with the yarn um, you can choose a smaller size if you want a more tighter design or you can choose a bigger size hook if you want a looser design but usually I just go with whatever is recommended okay so we'll go ahead and get started I'm going to use a size four millimeter crochet hook for the project or our, our intro today um, and then I just have some really basic yarn okay I just wanted to have something that's easy to see um, so we'll find the end of our yarn. Obviously, I've uh, used it before. Okay, so here's our end. And the first thing that we need to do is we have to make a slip knot. So let me just zoom in a little. Okay. Um, if you haven't made a slip knot before, it's super simple. So what you'll do is you'll make a circle with your knot. Okay, I'm just going to kind of exaggerate this a bit so you can see. And then here's the end. You're going to keep the end outside and reach through the circle and pull, whoops, and pull through. Okay. So this is, again, one where you can make it bigger by pulling, um, pulling your tail here. So you can make it bigger or smaller. Okay. And if you pull all the way, it'll come undone. So we'll do that one more time. So again, you just kind of make a circle like this. Hold on to your tail. Don't let the tail go through like a knot. You'll just pull like so. Okay, and that's how you'll start every project. Um, and then you'll take you'll take your hook, and then this is how you start. And you can pull it tight on your hook. Okay. So again, here's that. So once more to make a slip knot, make a circle and pull through okay um so that's how to do a slip knot um, the next thing that i want to go over now that we kind of have this together again you'll put your hook through here whenever you're using a crochet hook you want this top this the actual hook part facing up um, it's not facing down it's facing up and then you can pull this tight onto your hook okay you have a nice you should be able to slide nothing tight okay and what I like to say is my left hand is for holding the yarn um, and moving the yarn if I need to um, the right hand is only to touch the hook and move up and down so really this hand should pre be pretty um, stable and your right hand is moving okay so to get started, you need to learn how to hold your yarn. Um, something that I do usually when I crochet is I'll take off my ring because sometimes the yarn will get caught in it. So that's kind of a tip <laughs> that I would recommend um, if you have any jewelry on. And then what you're going to do um, is the end result will look like this on your hand. Okay, You kind of have it wrapped around your hand like this. And then that allows you to kind of hold it sturdy. Um, it'll, everyone holds their yarn a little bit different, but this is how I choose to hold it um, and how I was taught. So to do, to get to here, <laughs> you're going to put your hand upside down. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here for a sec. Okay. You put your hand upside down and I want you to take your hook and put it, put your hand through your pinky and then flip your hand around, okay? And then wrap around your finger twice, okay? And that's how you'll hold it. So one more time. Again, you want the, the um, yarn here, your slip knot tight on the hook, not too tight so it can still move just so it's snug. Okay, so again, upside down. Flip your hand around, wrap around twice. Okay, so the yarn will come from under here. Okay, so 
Um, pause the video now if you need to practice either your slip knots a little bit more or how to hold the yarn a little more. And then when you're all ready, come back and we're gonna start the what's called the foundation chain, okay? You'll use this multiple times, um, usually at the start of every project, okay? And sometimes in the middle of your project, actually oftentimes in the middle of your project. So we're gonna go ahead and get started there. Again, pause the video if you need to just practice that. Okay, so when you're ready, and you hold on to your hook. Now, um, the again, this is the very basic foundation chain. So you have your hook, and what you're gonna do is you're going to get the yarn to wrap around the very, the very tip of your hook, okay? So you'll cross over the front of your yarn, wrap it so that your hook is underneath the yarn. So you can kind of see here, we have our, our slip knot and then the yarn, okay? Um, I like to use my thumb and my middle finger to hold onto this little knot. Um, that's kind of my basic, I don't know how my hands work. Um, so again, the left hand is to hold the yarn, the right hand is to hold the hook. So you put your hook over the yarn to get it, or to get your yarn over your hook. And then what you'll do, and this is again something that needs practice, it looks simple when I do it, but trust me, it takes a while to get down, is you're gonna pull this piece of the yarn through this loop, okay? So watch carefully and then try it for yourself. Is you'll again go over and then slowly pull it through your slip knot, okay? So we're gonna do that again one more time, actually a couple more times is again, cross your hook over, grab onto that yarn up here, and we're gonna pull this piece of yarn through here. Okay? Um, and it doesn't have to be loose at this point. It doesn't matter what your tension is, if it's super loose or if it's super tight, it doesn't matter. Just do know that if you do go tighter, eventually your work will start to curl and that's okay. You'll get used, like, that's totally normal to happen when you're just starting. So again, we're gonna cross over and pull this through here. Notice how my left hand isn't moving, just my right hand is moving, okay? So again, this hand isn't really moving. The only time I really need to move it is if I run out of yarn on this side here. Um, so again, cross over, pull your yarn through that loop. Okay, and as you keep doing this, let me do a couple more here. You start to get this little tail here, okay? And this is your foundation chain that you will use for multiple projects. Um, okay, so that's your foundation chain. Go back, watch it again, and I want you to practice this until you get a good feel of this, okay? And then, after you have that, you can go on to video number two. All right, so again, we'll just do a couple more here. We've got a hold with our left hand of our foundation chain now. Our right hand is moving, our left hand doesn't move. Okay, sometimes people try and do this and it just, they get themselves confused, I feel. So again, if this gets really loose, that's okay. Um, it's super easy, you just pull back, you know, like this. Um, <laughs> That's the nice thing about crocheting is that if you mess up, it's pretty easy to undo your work. Um, so again, do a couple more. Hold your yarn here, cross over, pull this through, okay? And you'll kind of keep doing that. And say you do mess up really bad. This is the nice thing about crocheting. If I mess up, I just pull this and it starts to undo, okay? Also be wary of that. Um, and then all you have to do is put your hook back through the loop here and you can kind of leave off or start where you left off, okay? So practice your foundation chain and then you can move on to video two where we'll learn how to do multiple different stitches, okay? So today we want over the hooks to get. Um, again, it shows you the size on them. We went over how to determine the yarn, what yarn to do, um, making a slip knot, how to hold your yarn, so hold with the left, move your hook with the right, or opposite if you're left-handed, and how to do your foundation chain, okay? So practice that, 
um, as long as you need to. Again, if it starts to twist, that's okay. Just loosen up a little bit um, because when it twists, that means your design is really tight, okay? And that's kind of how, how the finished product will be twisted. So um, just practice that. Get, you know, three feet of chain if you want, however, um, however long it takes you to practice, okay? That's the end of video one, and we'll see you back for lesson two.